All right, where's the microphone at? Woo! All right, hold up. I'm going to move you just a little bit. Greetings, salutations, and good evening, folks. Slumps the Clown, and guess what we're going to do today? We're going to play a goddamn ROM hack called Super Mario Ultimate. Uh, anyone who's been following my Twitch for a while, or my Twitter, rather, is that I have been studying ROM hacks like crazy, and I came across one. It was right on the front page. It said, Super Mario Ultimate. Now, this is a ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. 3, it claims to add up to like five or eight more worlds and it just it looks like it changed up the graphical style and a whole bunch of other shit i am super duper excited to be able to play this for you guys tonight uh i got absolutely nothing going on right now so i figured fuck it we'll go ahead and stream um for the folks out there that are curious i am also currently working on a new article it's going to be an in-depth research article in regards to the development of super mario brothers 2 in japan we're talking about lost levels I want to see how it got from that point how do you go from family friendly super mario brothers the fucking lost levels like how does that even happen but well, i'm going to go into all the history and all that that's going to be a uh, different article in junk and looks like the captain is watching ha hey captain good to see you but uh somehow you're watching on youtube i thought i disconnected that but uh are you watching on youtube hmm i might need to look into that later but either way I'm going to play Super Mario Ultimate. We'll just pop right in here and get her started. I have no idea what to expect on this, guys. Like, zero. As you can see right there, this hack not to be sold. Alright, so it looks like we got a choice of difficulty settings. We got easy, we got gamer, uh, we got hard, and we got wow. So this would be like looking for a challenge and shit, I guess. But uh, what I'm going to do... It looks like there's going to be negative ramifications for taking the easy route. So, I'm going to play Gamer, and I'm just going to play for a little bit, and we'll see what this ROM hack is all about. I plan on doing a lot more of these. I'm still digging, so uh, stay tuned for all that mess. Well, let's go, get going. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like Mario 3, but not really. So, yeah. Still got the same sound effects. Totally different map, though. Alright, winter in through a pipe. Hope you folks are digging the new layout. I literally just pulled this out of my ass uh, in the last 20 minutes or so. So my guys over there on Input 3 TV are uh, streaming currently. Uh, looks like Adam is uh, going at it right now with some more Celeste. Which I still need to take a look at and see if that's something I'd be into. Ah, shit. Huh, look at the Goomba. Ah, well, I spent too much time looking at him. Oof. So, yep, looks like I only got three lives, so I can't fuck around too much. Alright, we'll grab this. Maybe I can actually hold on to a power-up for more than a second. I don't need this shit. See ya. I got my water next to me. It's fucking Friday night. Things are going good. Hope y'all are having a good weekend as well. Well, like the start of one anyway. I still got one more fucking day to work. So what inspired me to start checking out more ROM hacks is that when I played Super Mario Brothers, or excuse me, Super Mario Land DX, I just had to play more. So I started digging around, and yes, there's a whole damn community of ROM hacks for some of your favorite games out there. Uh, it does require the Lunar IPS tool, uh, which applies the patch to existing ROMs that you have on your hard drive. But then once that's all said and done, you simply retitle it, and then you're good to go. So, for example, when I created this particular ROM, applied the patch, I put it into the Raspberry Pi as Super Mario Ultimate, and there you go. So that was level one. Alright, looks like we're going underground, maybe? Oh man, this sucks. I mean, I know that I could pull that move off in Mario 3, so that's kind of lame. 
But we cannot be fucking choosers about this shit. We're just gonna look at it and see how well they did. Are you sure this is you, Captain? I keep saying hi. You're on YouTube, which is bizarre because I disconnected that. Uh, I didn't even see live notification. I want to jump on my phone and see if that's true. Hold up. Ow. That was probably really loud in your ear. My bad. Okay. Fix the mic in case it got all screwed up. Oh, yeah. It's saying that I'm logged in. That's really weird. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and get back into it, shall we? I didn't update the um, the YouTube creds or anything like that. So maybe that's something I'll do after the stream. So what I'm going to try to do, if it isn't too hard, is I'm going to try to stream the entire first world. We're going to see how that plays out for us, and we'll go from there. Oh, can't go in the pipe. Stop saying hi, Captain. Hi. All right, I was lucky enough I got a fire flower. Okay, we got a fork in the path, but maybe this is going to be like the um, the first, well, I should say the original Mario 3. Uh, maybe one of these actually has some type of secret that I can unlock. Yep, auto-scroller. Oh, what? I can't kill those things by jumping on them. That's bizarre. I wonder if I get any rewards for collecting all the coins. Well, that sure as hell ain't gonna happen at this rate. Hi, Captain. You're silly. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die there and I like sailed right through the wall like a dumbass. Durr. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, so you cannot kill the blobs. Nothing you can do about it. Well, at least I can guarantee that one up is going to be there every single time. Oh, I know you do. Oh, damn. Okay. It kind of feels like the jumping mechanic is stilted in a way. It's like blending Mario with Castlevania. It's really bizarre. But I'm going to keep trying. Ah, fucking rip. Let's try again. Man, I don't like them blobs, man. They suck. Okay, so this is the trick right here. Hmm. What if this is going to be like an endless type thing? Aha! Look at that! See, even though I sailed right through it, it was a platform up there. Who would have known? Uh-uh. Not today. Fucking Goomba. So, I don't even know if the Koopa Kids are in this one. So, that's going to be interesting. I don't even know what you're saying anymore, Captain. <gasps> the fire kills him! Okay, good to know. Good to know. End of the level? That was really bizarre. Oh well. Let's see what this one's all about. Whoa, that thing looks angry! So I'm kind of like in nerdy cognito right now for the folks who are used to seeing my clowny face. Yeah, I decided not to get dressed up tonight. I decided to say, fuck it. I'm in relaxation mode. As soon as this stream's over, I'm going to be getting my drink on. And then I got to go to work super -de duper early in the morning. Oh. So you got that from the, what was that? The, um... Uh, Ugandan, was it Knuckles or something like that? I forget.
How the hell am I supposed to? Oh, climb the vines, there. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. So that's supposed to be an introduction to it. I just wasn't smart enough to latch on and like discover that little feature. But now that I know, I should be able to get right through there. No. Yeah, there's still kind of the jumping mechanic in here. Definitely feels like uh, Castlevania and Mario Brothers had a baby. Okay, I still got the fire flower. Maybe I can collect power ups as I find them. Whoa, 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 give me that. So I don't know how I feel about these graphics just yet. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I wouldn't say they're superior to Mario 3. There's more detail for sure. But I can already tell right off that this is going to be kind of a difficult game. Especially when you figure in that weird jumping. Uh, bam! Goodbye! So now that we know what we know, we're going to get down here. We're not going to be rash. We're just going to climb right across. I can't believe I didn't think about that. I'm like, no, I can make a jump! But the fucking roof is in the way. Uh. Whoa, he's from Kirby! That's a little spiny dude from Kirby. He's like trying to be a spider or something. Oh, can't hit him, so screw it. We're just going to move on. Uh-oh. This is pretty sweet, though. I like this. It's like blending elements of Mario 3 with uh, elements from like Super Mario Land 2. I dig it. Ah, damn it. I have the worst luck with that anymore. And I used to be the shit at collecting three in a row. What's this question mark? Ah, this is the Toad House. Good to know. Yeah, so for anyone curious about romhacking.net, I highly suggest giving those guys... I should have put a link down in the uh, the Twitch description. Oh, to join the villain? Cool! That's awesome, Captain. I'm really proud of you that you're continuing to stick with the viola. That is awesome. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and collect that. Might have been a stupid move, but who gives a shit at this point? So the Kirby Spiny is out to kill us. Whoa, hell no! Y'all need to calm down. Okay, so that's going to stay there constantly. So this is our first fortress in Ultimate Super Mario Ultimate. This is fucking crazy. Like that flashing thing is going to make <laughs> I want to be like Meh, on the floor any second now. Okay, so the tail also hurts those guys too. You just can't jump on them. So at least we got a plan B. You can get out of that. So I would say that yes, despite the little things I'm seeing here and there, this is overall overall a very well designed ROM hack. I'm digging this. Oh, look at that, Koopa Junior. And he is toast. And I can't remember <gasps> that key was from Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. That is crazy. There's so many like weird cameos in here. All right, so here's the card game. Aha, the pattern should still kind of sort of be the same, I hope, I hope. Hmm. Okay, star. All right, we nailed it. Now, I'm actually doing better on this one than I am the original Mario 3 card game. <laughs> Uh-oh, I got swallowed into this. Oh, uh, this is an upward scrolling level? Oh my god. Okay, so this is kind of mixing elements of Mario 2 in with Mario 3. 
This is pretty sweet. So we can go this way. That is a trip. Whoa! So do expect more ROM hacks from me in the future. Um, I've been finding some really sweet ones out there. Uh, the majority of the ones I've seen for like Castlevania and that I'm not a fan of. Um, if anyone can point me out to a quality Castlevania ROM hack, let me know. I'd love to play it. It, I mean, the, the go-to for those types of ROM hacks seems to be to make it as stupidly difficult as possible. Well, that's not necessarily the point. Um, I did find one good one uh, that I played a little bit of. It was like Simon's Quest Redaction, I believe is the name. Uh, that one actually includes some bug fixes that make the game a little bit more playable. So um, I highly suggest checking out that one if you can. Can't believe I didn't update the YouTube thing. Hmm, I'm gonna have to fix that. Ugh. So we'll call this my uh, final YouTube live stream because the ultimate goal now uh, with the new content ID rollout, blah, blah, partner verification bullshit, Lumps Media and me, Lumps the Clown, will not be uh, utilizing YouTube for live streaming purposes anymore. It doesn't mean we're abandoning the channel by any means. Uh, it means the live streams will be occurring exclusively on Twitch and then uh, videos will get uploaded later at our discretion and we'll just take it from there. Yeah, so like I said, not a bad thing. Whoa. Okay, so that guy doesn't get hurt. He's like a brick or something. Okay, so we got through there undamaged. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh, I know what's going on here. I know what, exactly what's going on here. Okay, so I should be able to get over there, I hope. He kind of fell down on the wrong side, but fuck it. Let's try this. No! Okay, I gotta push him way over here. I mean, that's my only other option. Oh, hell no. Alright, Goomba wants a piece of me, so he can have it. So I gotta push him way over here. Hit the pow. Wait. All right, we made it. Awesome. So that was the way. What the fuck's over here? Into the level. I'm kind of bummed that some of the levels don't include the uh, the block uh, for the items to try to get one ups. I don't know how I feel about that. This level design's pretty unique, though. Okay, so this looks like another puzzle level, and I probably fucked up right there. So this just looks like a ton of maze levels so far. Which, they're not exactly my favorite, but I still enjoy them. Uh, what's over here? What? I thought I had the fire flower. Hmm, guess not. Alright, so I made it in here. Awesome. What's this shit? Aha! There it is. It's in the middle, though. How the hell am I gonna get that? Hmm. So I guess I could. Tr maybe I can fly. Huh? That, that's sweet. So now you can get your sweet, sweet vengeance on these guys. Kill them with their coins. But I fucked up. I didn't get up there in time. It's all good. So if you were to ask me how to rate this between uh, you know this and Super Mario Land 2 DX, I would still vote highly in favor of Super Mario Land 2 DX. This is still good. I mean, I haven't even given it a fair shake yet. I haven't like completed a world to kind of get a taste of what's going to be coming up next. So this is still all fresh. Okay, we can cross that, and uh, yep, we've got the castle right there. We'll pop into here. 
This is the roulette game. This ain't roulette. This is some version of slots. Uh, uh. Is it just me or is that thing missing a smile? And I didn't get it anyway. The mushroom was missing a smile. That's really weird. So it looks like I gotta go in here. Alright, we'll grab this. What? Uh. Alright, fuck it. We'll go ahead and move on. This layout definitely takes some getting used to. If you're expecting like a uh, authentic Mario 3 experience, it doesn't seem like you're going to get it here. What you're going to get here is a totally different experience. I mean, this is mixing elements from all different types of Mario games and shit outside of the franchise, too, if you consider the enemies. Uh-oh. Walk! Run! <laughs> I don't know why the boogie was walking there. Whatever. Uh, oh, hell no. Out of all the hammer bros I can come across in Mario 3, the fireball uh, ones suck. Absolutely despise them. Whoa. Okay, so those are going to try to kick me that way. And let's do this. And down we go. See, if you get a running head start at that block, it's almost a guarantee you'll get a star every time, even in the original Mario 3. Unless they don't give you enough running space. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this one. See what's in here. Aha! Open a chest and pick an item. Well, if you say so. Whoa, look at that. I got fucking Tanuki suits? Let's use one. How the hell did I get two of them? Maybe from beating those levels? Help us, please. One of Koopalings has stolen the king's magic wand. Retrieve it, please. <laughs> uh, I had a tuna sandwich there, Captain. It was really good. Arcade Android, good to see you, my man. Ah, uh, shit. Um, I didn't realize I was actually streaming to YouTube as well, so I got the captain um, over there watching on YouTube. That's going to be my last and final uh, live stream to YouTube. After that, it's going to be all Twitch, baby. Hope you're having a good one. And Boris in the house, too. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, this is Super Mario Ultimate. This, so far, is a very good ROM hack. Not as good as Super Mario Land 2 DX, in my honest opinion, but still fun. Um, it's blending up elements from different franchises as well as other Mario games. Uh, there's the upwards and downwards, the vertical scrolling alongside the horizontal scrolling. Uh, there's all different enemies. Uh, I just bumped into the spiny guy from the Kirby's, uh, Kirby's Dreamland area, or the franchise rather. Why are those guys fly- Oh my god, they're homing! Oh shit! You gotta watch out for that. Oh yeah, the color scheme is pretty awesome. Uh, don't know if I'm a fan of the sprite work, but you know, at the end of the day, it, it's different. You know, like somebody actually put this together, and I can tell because it looks pretty damn good. <laughs> yes, Wiz, and it's good to see you too, by the way, man. Uh, ROM hacks is something I've been getting into a lot more lately. Uh, I kind of played around with it before uh, Super Mario Land 2 DX. But now it's kind of like a, one of them things I'm going to do from time to time. I'm just going to go in, uh, give off sneak preview of a ROM hack, and uh, perhaps continue on with it if I can, and just take her from there, man. It's going to be pretty sweet. And you, okay, you guys probably see the title up there on the screen, uh, the Let's Play ROM Hacks. That is harder than you think. To, to pull off in Photoshop, like individual letters. Oh my God, it was a pain in the ass. I probably took a good uh, 10 to 15 minutes out of the 20, 25 minutes it took me to put it all together. So yeah, I'm making a big deal out of playing ROM hacks. Yeah, Mario 3 is pretty cool, Captain. We need to play that again. Okay, so nothing different with the boss. This looks like uh, Larry Koopa. I think that's his name. Forget with a little tiny one then. Oh, 
Well, that was kind of a quick world transition, so I think I'm going to play a little bit longer. Oh, uh, fucking A, Wiz. That's what I'm going to be doing on a different memory card. Uh, I already got maybe like six or seven on this memory card, on this SD, but I'm going to get another one, and I'm just going to make that exclusively ROM hacks, dude. Like, I would say to, to create a ROM hack with Lunar IPS uh, program, it's going to take about maybe five minutes of your time, but that's still a long time if you're considering doing multiple titles. So what I recommend is just kind of knocking it out when you can if you got a few spare minutes here and there dig around through romhacking.net find a decent one and uh, get, you know if you have the rom that you need boom patch it up you're good to go all right for, uh, greetings from dust dunes land bowser jr start an invasion please come fast to help us the king so it looks like you end up fighting bowser jr in the uh, little fortresses and then when you actually get to the castle and you get to the sky ship you fight a koopaling Ha! Look at this desert area. <laughs> oh, you've played... Have you played Snakewood yet, Captain? I mean, I know that we talked about it before, but I have not. I mean, we saw that first, like, 20 seconds of it, but... Um, have you had a chance to play it yet? I know I put it on your pie. Yep. Yeah, I found that one for the captain. He's a big fan of uh, Pokemon games. So I uh, found Pokemon Snakewood. They actually make uh, physical copies of that. There's a couple of guys out there that do repro carts, and they like to do the, the ROM hack physical builds, which are pretty sweet. Oh, you played it at your mom's? Oh, awesome. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> wow, there's a hidden coin in there. Obviously, there's one right there, too. Mega Man Contra Mario Hex Land uh, Three controllers. 120 gig card. That's the one that I got in here. Um, and I'm nowhere even close to filling it up. And I've got like a shit ton of ROMs on here. Uh, I could probably load it up with some ZX Spectrum shit. I've uh, been wanting to play that a little bit more. Uh, I got some MSX games on there. Um, I got Vampire Killer that I want to play eventually. It's kind of like open world Castlevania in the uh, aesthetic of the first Castlevania. And I couldn't believe the shit when I saw it. And then I played it, and I'm like, wow! Alright, we're gonna grab this. Oh, fuck, I can't remember. Let me see. No! I know I saw a star down here somewhere. Aha! Oh, one up. Uh, right here? Shit! All right, we're going to go ahead and hit this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so Wiz, if you know of any good ROM hacks for Castlevania, let me know. Uh, some of the ones are, uh, reviewed over on AVGN's channel were uh, subpar um, in my book. I mean, because I've tried them, uh, like Blood Moon and a few others, and they all just seem like... Just something's missing. It, it lacks that Castlevania feel. It's like they try to go for the most stupidly difficult game, and then that's their only stick. I mean, Castlevania ain't just about that, in my honest opinion. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Huh. I don't understand what was supposed to happen there, and now I can't go back. Shit. So, that must have been some type of puzzle to get some sort of item. And I totally biffed it. Whoop, nope. Cloud Mania running wild, of course, sir. And it's good to see you, too, by the way. How you doing? Our bullshit, super hard hacks. All right, cool, Wiz. If you come across one, man, let me know. Because I want to play me a decent Castlevania ROM hack. No bullshit. Like, how do I get over this thing? I'm going to have to, like, run my ass off. Oh! So, like, I had no choice but to take damage there, because by the time that you get back on the screen, it's time for it to fucking spawn up. Enjoying the weekend? Good. Because that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, my weekend technically doesn't start till after 2 p.m. tomorrow. i got to wake up super early in the morning. I was just sitting around here, and I'm just like, you know what? I haven't streamed on a Friday night in a while. I'm going to do that. 
It takes a lot to get me to give up my free time, too, and I got the house empty and I don't got to worry about anything. Like, I literally turn into straight-up hermit mode, and that's the way it's been for a while. But I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to start streaming a little bit more consistently for you guys. Hey, is, uh, is Adam still streaming fucking, what was it, Celeste over there on Input 3, sir? If, if so, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing or who's going to beat who first. But um, I've been wanting to check out Celeste, and I've been meaning to pop in the last couple of nights. But I have just been super duper busy with bullshit. Hey, hey! <laughs> Loving all the love up in here. Ah, hell no. Okay, so the little tiny Goombas inside the blocks are still super obvious, which I do like. In fact, they're probably even more obvious in this version. Beat him with a stick. <laughs> oh, them tiny Goombas always annoyed the shit out of me. You know, the ones that are outside the block like to fucking cling on to you and all that. Nope. Slow down your jumps. Boy! Fucking Hammer Bro came out of nowhere. I didn't expect one here in fucking World 2. You crazy? That Canadian fuck deserves it. <laughs> um... It says that I beat it? What? Nah, okay, it was this one I went to. I just had a total fucking short-term memory problem right there. Uh, nope. Hell no. Yeah, you guys are even lucky you got a webcam tonight. I did not want to get dressed up, man. I was like, you know what? I'll just throw on fucking pajamas. We'll turn on the webcam. I mean, because then it makes me feel like I'm more part of the experience, you know? Does that make sense? Like, it feels detached when I'm just talking into the blackness and that's all you guys see is the game. Oh! I thought I cleared it. Why, it's bloody. <laughs> okay, so that's not a level. I can't get on the pyramid. I mean, you just don't know with these ROM hacks, man. These guys could do anything with this shit. Uh, matter of fact, speaking of repros and ROM hacks and junk, uh, I highly suggest that everybody checks out Stupid Geeks. Uh, they're the folks that I bought my copy of Sweet Home for, or from, rather, at Portland Retro Game Expo. And uh, I had a battery issue come up with that cartridge, and I was pretty bummed about it. So I got in touch with the board manufacturers. They suggested it's SRAM. Uh, I get in touch with Stupid Geeks themselves. They suggest uh, that the battery needs to be replaced. So I already ordered one. Um, I might try to do a video on that, like soldering and replacing batteries and shit. Uh, something for Lumps Medium. And then once that's all said and done, we'll see how it goes. But either way, Sweet Home is one of my... It's like the gem of my NES collection right now. I love that fucking game. And I just beat it recently, too, uh, on my Pi. Oh my god, look at this shit. Seriously? Okay, there we go. <laughs> the timing on that was all wonky as hell. Alright, we got a star. Hopefully we can get a star in the next level. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's go here. Toad House. The only thing I don't like about the Toad House in this ROM hack is that they're not super obvious. So, like... You have to, you know, be willing to click on that question mark, which would actually put a bad taste in the mouth of anyone who might try to come in here. But, I mean, I'm playing and I should know better, but short-term memory. And then that shit happens. I guess it's supposed to add to the mystery. And then, look at that. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna lose it. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm obviously gonna need to get something on me here, so let's do that. All right, back in we go. So it's an auto-scroller, and it's kind of reminds me of Super Mario World an awful lot. You know that one stage where the sandbar things come down at you? I fucking hate that level. And now I'm reliving my worst nightmare right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so luckily there was some ground below there. I didn't know that. <laughs> Auto-scrollers fucking stress me out. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, they pff, they bother me big time. 
Uh, well, can't get up there. I'm sure there's a way I can. Oh, no, no, no! Get me out of here! <laughs> that was playing on my anxiety hard. Did you see that shit? If I would have fucked that up, then game over. Crushed. Oh, a chain chomp. That's ruthless. You got the uh, bouncy music blocks, and then you got the chain chomp just right there. That's kind of... Oh, whoa, I love these blocks. Give me that fucking tanuki suit. So I just think it's funny that they just toss tanuki suits at you in this hack. Oh, the auto-scrollers. <laughs> Way too harder. Yeah, it's true. It, it almost seems like it's hard to pull off a fun, enjoyable auto-scroller. I mean, if you guys can name an example, I'm open, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. And if I have to think too hard about it, then that just means that it's really hard to make one that's quality. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. So it's kind of like a diagonal facing Tanuki statue in Mario 3, but this one faces you dead on. I like that. Just little touches. Ah, oh, you fuckwit! Ooh. I was looking over a chat and I decided to just jump and go with my instincts and I was at least ahead by 0.5 seconds in my head. Uh oh, I gotta push this somewhere. Where? wonder if I can plug that hole or if that even makes a difference. Hardest opponent? Hmm. Yeah, I haven't really honestly played a lot of Smash Brothers. My old job... Uh, there was this group that used to get together and they would play some Smash Bros, either N64 or uh, GameCube one. I think it was Melee. Ho oh, ho, hell no. I can't believe I got through that shit. <laughs> Alright. Go down here. Maybe that's the ticket. I didn't see any perks to doing so, but I didn't hit all those music blocks either. Hmm. So before I hit that door... I'm sure this is a maze level. Does anyone recall a level in Mario 3 that did that? Where um, you had to choose your exit? I mean, it doesn't matter. Here's Koopa Jr. Or Bowser Jr. Bam! Got the key. Alright, we're in the second half of the map. There's the castle. Let's hit this one. Whoa. whoa! Whoa! Look at this shit! He's throwing like bouncy bowling balls at me. Oh my god! And they don't go away. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Wonder if I can jump on him. It doesn't. They don't die. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you shitting me? Uh, they're gonna be chasing me through the whole level. <laughs> Ah, uh, I really wanted that, too. I mean, I'm at ten lives. I mean, that's pretty sweet. You know what? Fuck you, dude. You're going down now, sucker. Ah, uh, you can't even jump off him, either. Like, do this flaccid little half jump. <laughs> that's, okay, so I'm going to hold down A this time. Yeah, look at that. You can't even launch off him properly. Whooped ass with Peach. Oh, Peach was your main there, Wiz? Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the guys I knew would main as Kirby, usually. I wonder, uh... I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing, or what. I know there's always that one character in Smash that everybody always gives someone else shit for when they main him. Oh my god, he was like a sniper! <laughs> Alright, fuck this. Okay, so we got a frog suit. I'm just going to go ahead and slap on the uh, tanuki tail. Call her a day. Okay, I can't jump on him from there. Hmm. I can't even remember if this is the beginning or not. Definitely looks familiar. I don't think I hit a checkpoint or anything. Not that you could ever tell in Mario 3. Whoop. Uh, I'm totally at the beginning. Now, now, that same group of kids, I actually decided to try to, you know, make friends with them and be nice and all that shit. Because I play video games too, you know? 
but I was never really part of their little crew they had going on. But their eyes did pop out of their head when I brought my Wii U one night and we fucking got our Mario Kart 8 on. That was pretty sweet. But, you know, it's funny though, is that after that I didn't really hang out with them anymore. I guess I realized I was allergic to assholes. Which is totally true, by the way. Uh, uh. Like one time I got around my boss and he didn't say anything to me. I don't think he did anything weird or anything like that either. But he got around me and I started going, who's who? Who's who? Who's who? And I couldn't stop for fucking five minutes. <laughs> oh, what? That was possible, Wiz? Okay. I never seen them pull that off. I never seen them suck somebody up and then just dive off a cliff, man. That's crazy. He did he killed me the same fucking way he did last time. I'm gonna have to run all the way to the right. He's gonna do the same thing every time. Okay. Good to know. I'm not gonna bother with this shit. There's a tanuki suit right in here. Oh ho! I got you, you son of a bitch! Who? Who's the man? So, I can deal with one, whatever. Yeah, no Garbo fucking Castlevania ROM hacks, man. Um, I did see a few for some of the later gen ones, like in handhelds and shit. There's, uh, there's a couple out there for, like, Aria of Sorrow, and uh, there was another one I saw, Harmony of Dissonance. I wouldn't mind trying those out. Whoa! I think there's even another one or two that has like the boss rush mode uh, that just launches you right into the boss fights, which I actually enjoy boss rushes when they're done right. I mean, that's a holdover from the arcade days. Oh, what the? You shitting me? Says I show you. You gotta go for the pro strats when you're dealing with the trolls, man. You gotta fuck them up. Show them who's boss. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Like them apples. Bitch! Alright, we're good. Uh, nope, you're not doing it to me this time. Yeah, see, look at that. He hits in the same spot every time. So, this is a good area to just do this in. Just hug the fucking right wall, you'll be good to go. Ah, you got one of your shit stuck in the wall, dumbass. Ah. Okay, so once you get out of there, do not keep going to the right. All right. I think I understand. I think I'll remember that. But I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh my god, this is just getting worse and worse. <laughs> get in there, man. This is fucking crazy out here. Glenn Fire, good to see you. Glenn Fire, how's it going? <laughs> I am playing uh, Super Mario Ultimate. Um, I need to make a space on this background that tells people which ROM hack that I'm playing. But I put this one together a couple nights ago. I was just sitting around and I'm bored and I decided to jump on romhacking.net, see if anything new came up. And this is right there on the home page. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's not as fun as Super Mario Land 2 DX, but still a fun experience. And there's some like some little cameos here and there that are actually kind of fun too. Yep, Wiz is in here as well. <laughs> yeah, Wiz holds the illustrious honor of sending me the um, first like fan letter fucking game. He sent me Fatal Frame. I couldn't believe the shit. Fatal Frame is quickly turning into one of my favorite survival horror series. Um, I just started playing it uh, a few months back when, I got, when he sent it to me. And it's just as fun as I thought it would be. Oh my god! It should make a movie about me? I don't know, man. It would be kind of boring. If you had, I mean, my real life shit is like super boring. I got a fucking 9 to 5 job. And I got to try to cram all the other shit that I do for fun into that somehow. Uh, I don't understand how to get over that. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I don't think she hangs out with guys like me, though, man. She hangs out with, like, Brad Pitt and shit and all them fucking guys. Oh, yeah. So you just got to do it the one shot. You can't hesitate. You just got to go. Okay. Good to know. 
Woo! Ah, uh, see, look at these guys. These spinies are totally from Kirby. So, yeah, they make a cameo appearance. Uh, I don't know if you saw the key there uh, from when I beat the uh, the Fortress boss, Bowser Jr. But, yeah, um, you also see the key from Legend of Zelda Link to the Past as well. So, there's just little... Oh, whoa, we're in a waterfall. Fuck this. Hackers on the list. <laughs> That should be like an indie song or something. Someone should write the song Lesbian Haircut. Oh! Kiss her. <laughs> That's a good one, Wiz. But I'm going to tell you a secret, though. I've never once in my entire life, even in my hormonal-fueled teenage years, have ever thought for one single second that Angelina Jolie is attractive. Mm. Um, back in the 90s, I was more into, like, Sandra Bullock and Speed. Uh, let me think here some more. Uh, Jenny McCarthy, before she went all crazy, like, fucking, like, Hollywood conspiracy theorist type pe uh, people she is. I don't like listening to her anymore. But she was sure fun to look at back when I was a teenager. Hmm. No! See you on Better TV Net. He Now, I have not seen uh, what Katy Perry's new hairdo looks like, but she's also fun to look at, too. I don't listen to her music. Funny enough, my dad, he's like 63, 64 years old, some, and uh, he went out and bought the Katy Perry album. And I was looking through his collection. He's got, like, a bunch of cool dr drumming uh, CDs on there. He's got, like, uh, the Beatles. He's got the Doors. Or not the Doors, excuse me. Um, let me think here. Rolling Stones. Beastie Boys. But then he's got Katy Perry in this stack, too. And I'm like, what the fuck's this, Dad? I like Katy Perry. And I'm like, I know exactly why you like her. But it's okay, because everyone's got a type. Oh, Wiz, me too, man. Wednesday Adams was my crush back the very first time I ever saw fucking Adams family. I'm like, who's that? Whoa. But yeah, Wednesday Adams. She's got it going on. Uh, weird pick. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, though? Wednesday had that, like, mysterious dark thing going on, too. Like, she was just morbid and fun, and yeah. Wednesday Adams. Uh, I mean, Christina Ricci nailed that part, too, man. Like, she fucking killed it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I still haven't seen any of her new shit, though. I haven't watched uh, Black Snake Moan with Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know if that's any good. Uh, a lot of folks are telling me that it is, but I ain't seen it yet. No spoilers. Uh, but if you have seen it, uh, let me know if you think it was good or not. Whoa. Oh, man, that's fucking trollerific <laughs> platforms, dude. <laughs> You think so, huh, Glenfire? I don't know, man. I mean, even back then, I was be cross. I was a lot more innocent, though. Hormones really weren't quite playing in just yet. Okay, like it was like literally, um, I don't know. You know, everyone had them little fucking crushes back when they were school, and whatnot. And they didn't know what they were going through. That is how I would describe the thing that I had for uh, Wednesday Adams when I was a kid. A lot more innocent, and if I could go back to that time, frankly, I probably would. Hormones are a bitch. Whoa, leave me alone. So it looks like I gotta make a run for it. Is it really that good, Wiz? Okay. I ain't stopping streaming yet, though, dude. I got plans. Like, when I'm done streaming, I'm literally going to just get my drink on and not worry about jack shit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, everybody does, Glenfire. I mean, I knew one guy who had a crush on the fucking Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> no joke. Like, every time that came on, he would just get all flustered. <laughs> and then other ones like uh, Gadget from fucking, uh, let me think here, Rescue Rangers, I think. And uh, I couldn't have been Rescue Rangers. 
Help me out here, guys. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. It's a cartoon I used to watch. Can't remember. She was that like, blonde mouse character or whatnot. I mean, because I knew a few guys in school who had the same crush on her. The, uh, the anthropomorphic cartoon character just get all these, these boys flustered. And it's because hormones haven't played a part. Societal norms still haven't quite taken over just yet. So it was totally okay to crush on cartoon characters. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That's what it was. Exactly. That's totally true, the way you look at people. It's totally different. And I can get with that. I can get behind that 100%. Like, I loved uh, watching Penny from fucking Inspector Gadget because that girl, not only was she nerdy and smart, she helped Inspector Gadget get out of all the bullshit. Like, she also had it going on, too. And even when I was a kid, I was like, wow, it could be cool to meet a girl like that. And not for nefarious hormonal-driven purposes. Like, literally, the cute thing, you know? Like, when kids play tea party and shit. Man, I do miss those days. Oh, man, this place is fucking ridiculous. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you can't even duck under the fireballs, man. <laughs> okay, I got a pause. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, um, the thing I liked about Jessica Rabbit was her hairstyle. I didn't necessarily like her body. Because even back then, I realized that nobody really looks like that. She has like a size negative 11 waist or some shit. She's got like triple J titties going on. Like, it just... It's... What? It doesn't add up. I mean, if you saw somebody like that in real life, I mean, the first thing you'd think is artificial enhancements, right? Because that shit just doesn't happen in nature. Oh! That fucking flamethrower is hardcore. <laughs> Alright, we got through it. Ah, nothing wrong with that Glenfire at all, dude. But for me personally, I never really I never really got into her like that. Yeah, she wasn't bad, yeah. Not at not at all. Whoop. Okay, we just reached the World 2 castle. We're going to be hitting the skyship here very shortly. One of the Koopalines, one of Koopalines, has stolen the King's Magic Wand. Retrieve it, please. Hollywood, if she could. <laughs> oh my god. So yes, all future streams on my channel are going to be going strictly to Twitch. Uh, f after today because some reason restream is still linking up the YouTube channel uh, could have something to do with the code that I inserted into restream but I will be fixing that and all live streams are gonna be exclusive to twitch to be uploaded uh, at my discretion to YouTube at a later date what because some of these are actually being used for research projects uh, like ROM hacks you know that's just like a little side project of mine right well, I also do other shit for Lumps Media, like tech demos and junk like that. Um, that's all still going to be going to the YouTube channel. But live streams? I'm not a fan of the uh, whole new partner fucking bullshit going on. I became a YouTube partner a while back, and that was strictly through, like, grit and actually just uploading my stuff and staying consistent. Uh, 2015 was a really good year for Lumps the Clown Entertainment. Morticia Adam was a pink ranger. <laughs> Good to know, Wiz. I had about all the same crushes, too. Pink ranger for sure. Like, wow. Yeah, Amy had it going on, man. I watched the uh, first season of that when it came out, but that was actually a very difficult time in my life, and uh, I got bopped around between houses for about two years, so I couldn't watch it consistently. But from what I did see, it was fun. All right, we're just going to go ahead and not get hit by the fire. So this ship's a lot more hardcore than I thought it'd be for World 2. Got the auto scroll going on. No, I don't want to downgrade. I do like this, though, because then I can do that and I can float to other platforms. No! Oh! And then I died in the same fucking area I died before. Lily Munster? I'd have to look. 
But I don't know personally from first-hand experience if Lily Munster would have been one I'd have been into. Nah, you know what? We're just going to try to free ball this, guys. We'll see how far we get. Somebody once told me before that I play a lot better under pressure. But the thing is, is that I don't like fighting under pressure. You know, like, I will do it, but I hate it. It stresses me out more than you could possibly imagine. But somebody once did, I've been told that more than once, that I operate better when I'm under the gun, for whatever reason. Why? It's the same fucking shit keeps hitting me. <laughs> Leave me alone! Fuck you. And fuck you too. Try to get the sneak attack on me, man. Fuck off with that mess. Alright, so from what I... Vague memories of World 2 Skyship. This does look very familiar. Whoa, no, no, no. I always go back small. I get the power up and then I get lazy. I don't mean to. Okay. You're gonna help me out here. No, you don't. I can't believe I pulled that off. Six channels and two of them were snow. That sounds familiar, Wiz. My uh, stepmom actually was my babysitter back in the day. And I know what the, how that sounds. But what's funny is, is that um, she... Uh, I had this old console TV from the 70s, and it was on a swivel base. It was a CRT for sure, and it had the push buttons in the front. It had one for power and then four, uh, which were like channels and volume buttons, and that's it. Uh, I think it also had the little dials too. They had VHF and UHF. Uh, I don't know what the UHF is for. Somebody told me that way back, but I think that bandwidth got shut down like right before I was born or something. I don't remember. From Dolphin Docksland, my castle's under attack. Come and help save our kingdom, the king. And I got a, looks like a frog suit, maybe? All right, this is definitely a water world, so we're going to pop on the uh, frog suit, see what happens. Okay, Glenn. Uh, how about this, guys? Uh, does anyone who's had cable remember the old analog days where uh, if you go to, like, Channel 99 or something, uh, you would catch garbled porn? Because, I mean, that happened to me all the time. You know, like, right when the hormones are raging, I was flipping through channels all lazily one day, and then I pop on a Channel 99, I'm like, whoa, whoa, I just saw a nipple, what?! And then, like, you try to watch it, and you can't see shit, and then, like, that doesn't happen anymore because analog's not a thing anymore. But yeah, that was totally a thing. I remember experiencing it. Uh, I don't know if anyone else here has. But yeah, that was totally a thing for me. Oh, look at that. It still has those little fucking... No, 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 no. Stay away. No, I didn't have that, Glenn. Ugh. I think this would have been like circa 96, 97, I want to say. So if anyone was around 96, 97 and was aware of what was going on around them then, yeah, they would probably remember that. If you go to Channel 99, totally would see garbled porn. All day, every day. <laughs> yep, yep. Arcade Android knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Red Shoe Diaries on regular channels. I remember that. <laughs> uh, if only parents knew. Oh, shit. My parents sure as hell didn't know. My dad barely learns how to work a TV not like a year ago. No joke. Um, and he finally sent his first email a couple of years ago. So it's really funny when I try to explain to him what I do for fun, like my hobbies. He has no idea what's going on. Zero clue. It's like <laughs> looking into the abyss. And then even worse when I try to explain my old job to him. Like that was a fucking, you know, try to tell him you do SEO for a living. Boop, SEO? Oh! Belgian, sweet. So, I mean, I don't know much about Belgium other than they have really good beer. And uh, let me think about this. Really good waffles. Like, real legitimate Belgian waffles. And that's really about all I know about Belgium. I always wanted to visit, though. I understand you folks have, like, hardly any crime whatsoever and things are, like, super nice over there. Which is a hell of a lot different than the neighborhoods I grew up in. 
Ha! <laughs> Jerry Springer. Jerry! Jerry! <laughs> I remember that. That show is still on and it is still as obnoxious and cheesy as ever. Um, you can get the uh, cable version, or I should say the regular TV version, through Mari. Uh, Mari still does his whole you're not the father bullshit. Uh, that's still pretty funny if I'm feeling in a dark mood. French fries are actually Belgian, eh? Then the big question is, why call it French? Why not Belgian fries? Why they gotta be called French fries? Why has everything gotta be appropriated by the wrong fucking crowd? I don't understand it. Oh, I got a funny story for you. My boss, or one of my bosses, is English. I mean, he straight up came from London, like, maybe five or six years ago. And uh, dude was trying to describe American cheese to me. And the first word that slipped out of his mouth for anything else was plastic. Because there's no such thing as American cheese out in the wild. You don't go to like a fucking cheese factory and see American cheese aging in some back room somewhere. No, it's literally a science experiment. Slapped together, sliced, and there you go. Ah, and the French part. I get you. French part of Belgium. Okay. Staying up for girls <laughs> infomercials. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Arcade. I remember those, man. Those were good times. But that Joe dude was fucking creepy, dude. Like, I've read some reports and everything else that the girls, you know, would sign consent away for these videos, but then they weren't even lucid. Like, he'd go to the club and they're all fucking tore up and partying and getting stupid. There's no way they're going to be able to make a rational choice, so it kind of makes me wonder how they'd feel in the morning and how that fucking dude can sleep at night. Like, it just... Mm. Some were lucid, some weren't. And unfortunately, I've hung around enough fucking people that have been high and stoned and everything else like that that I know what they look like. And I can tell if they can put their shits together in their head or not. And some of them girls, no. And that just turned me off to the whole biz. Uh, let's see. Called French fries. Yeah. Okay. That part is intense. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do to get through that. Maybe I can hit the star thing here and uh, maybe not get fucked up. Uh, maybe I can take you out. What? No! New plan. I'm going to hit that guy before he even tries to fly right. Yeah, definitely looking back. I mean, it played on our emotions and, you know, and hormones, of course. You know, like when you're that age at that time, you just don't care. I mean, it's girls getting wild. <laughs> but then, like, when you grow up a little bit and you start seeing the, the whole model and that, I mean... I didn't think about all that shit till I got older, and then I'm like, wow, that was kind of messed up. Hence, why the dude's no longer in business. I mean, he got, he filmed the wrong girl or something one time. I think it had to do with some underage shit. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't checking IDs good enough. And he got in big trouble. So his whole Girls Gone Wild thing is a relic of the past. Will never come back. He's been totally discredited in all media organizations. And I actually think we're better off. Oh. Then people don't got to be worried about getting harassed in the club by some smarmy fuck trying to get you to take your clothes off. Oh. Good. Okay, so you can't go up there in the waterfall. I should have thought about that. Oh, God. GGU game? I don't get it. What you talking about there, Wiz? What's GGU? A uh, Britney Spears video. Yeah, you know what's funny is I used to crush on Britney Spears too. Uh, there was this quarter machine in my old pizza place that I used to work at, and I'd buy fucking Britney Spears stickers, no joke. I had like fucking ten of them on the side of my dresser. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people did, man. Oh, guy game? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it like uh, based on that game show or that one talk show, like the guy show or the man show or something like that? It was on Comedy Central. It had the Adam Carolla guy and it had uh, the Jimmy dude. Can't remember that. Yeah, I think it was the man show. Hell if I know. Uh. But yeah. 
I remember all that shit. Different times, too. Oh. Sometimes it's just good to go. Oh, what the fuck? That's like something out of Castlevania 3. What the hell am I looking at? Alright, we just gotta do it. Fuck it. This level's hard. Are you guys seeing this shit, by the way? Like, I'm gonna try one more bank of lives on that level and see if I can get past it. Huh. Oh, and I still plan on continuing on with the whole SOS on uh, Input 3 TV. Uh, I won't be streaming this Sunday. I'm actually going to be going out of town for the day. And I might try to get the captain to stream some with me later. I know him and I have been talking about playing King of the Monsters 2. That might be coming up tomorrow, uh, to be honest. And that would be pretty sweet if I could get him to play that with me. So that's one of my all-time favorite uh, arcade-style beat-em-ups. Came out on the Super Nintendo. Originally was on the uh, arcades. It was ported to the SNES. And not a lot of folks talk about it. But King of the Monsters 2 is a pretty sweet two-player game. So two-player simultaneous, for those curious. And uh, let me think here. Super easy to understand, too. You literally just jump right in there. You scroll to the right. Uh, there's boss characters. There's the boss rush right before you get to the final boss. It's got all the arcade elements in there that would make a game like that fun. Definitely check out King of the Monsters 2. Whoa, fuck you, dude. Guess it doesn't matter what I get here. Whoa! He launched that from way the fuck over there and is still chasing me. Okay, so we didn't unlock that yet. That stage right there. Let's go ahead and jump in. Boom! Hmm. There's got to be something, like, right around here. Maybe? i got to hit all these, obviously. Let's do it. Maybe right here? Fuck no. What about right here? There it is! Oh, you're talking about the guy game? Probably have it on your EverDrive? Wait a minute, you're not talking about that. Oh. Forgot what I was talking about already. I totally suck with the memory, guys. It's no joke. Uh, I don't see how I can get past that. Okay, was well, this is kind of a detailed answer. Um, yes, I have tried all of those on the uh, Pi. Uh, the N64 I've only had limited experience with. I was thinking of at least getting Super Mario 64, but I don't want to fuck with the N64 emu too much uh, until I get an N64 USB controller. Uh, from what I understand, certain games are laggy. Super Mario 64 plays okay, but then, like, we start getting to the Ocarina at times and all of them, they have a little bit of lag problems. Um, I don't know for sure. That's all, like, third-party information. Um, MAME plays really well, but I would strongly suggest downloading different instances of the MAME emulator or like trying out different versions of the MAME emulator uh, to see which one works with what because even if you might get your ROMs from the same resource um, it still may not require an older version of MAME uh, that you might not be working with automatically um, you set a default emulator every time you set one of these up and uh, if you have multiple versions then you can click on a button uh, before it goes into the game and then you can select a different emulator if you like and then you can save it per ROM and then it makes it easier down the road um, and last but not least PS1 uh, I PS1 plays flawlessly on the Raspberry Pi I've already played um, I did the whole um, SFWF wrestling thing on the Pi uh, with ECW Hardcore Revolution um, I've played hours upon hours of Castlevania Symphony of the Night on here Clock Tower First Fear like, it all works fine. Uh, matter of fact, it even upscales a little bit because what you're seeing here right now on Twitch is uh, 1280, 720. So you're watching this in 720p. Oh, monster game. Okay, no problem, Glenn. But yeah, uh, N64, a maybe, PS1 good. MAME, yes, if you have multiple versions of the emulator. 
Um, I could go through maybe 10 different titles uh, for MAME, and then the emulator wouldn't be the same for each one. Uh, do be aware that it doesn't play anything from, say, uh, 94 and on. It seems to have a problem playing, like, Night Slashers, which is one of my favorite arcade games. Almost a deal breaker for hooking up to my arcade cabinet, but that's fine. Um, I was thinking I have different plans in mind for the arcade cabinet. Because eventually I'm going to be moving into a tiny home. I need to down, I need to downsize. So I might be moving all the internals into a cocktail cabinet down the road. Aha! I knew there was something weird there. N64 games, oh, no problem, Liz. But yeah, PS1 totally plays just fine on here. Matter of fact, uh, it also plays, if you get the different BIOS for the different regions, you can play games from different regions. So I've already got two BIOS in mine, um, and in my folder uh, for PS1. And I'm not only able to play uh, American PS1 games, I'm also able to play Japanese ones, uh, which allowed me to play Septentrion out of the blue on my second to last stream for Input 3 TV. That was pretty sweet. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do here. This stage is hard. So this is all planning ahead. You don't fly in this one. You literally just coast. You got to fucking take your time, see what the fuck's going on, what's in front of you. Boom! That asswipe fires twice. Aha! I hit you that time, you shit weasel! I keep dying the same way. I need to not worry about that fucking Koopa. I'm trying to think of more examples I played on PS1, but I really haven't played around with it all that much. I just know that everything I've played on it works. And I've played, you know, three or four games sometimes for hours. And the pie doesn't even get a little bit warm. Uh, that was another concern some folks had. Uh, my case doesn't have the best ventilation. I don't have an external fan blowing on the CPU or any of that shit. Uh, it's literally the plastic case that you get a hold of uh, when you buy this particular kit that I got. Whoa! That was nuts. But I pulled it off. <laughs> I don't know how, but I pulled it off. <laughs> uh oh. This is kind of nerve wracking. Whoa, this is crazy. Oh! Okay, the waterfall. Hopefully, the end's coming up soon, I hope. Alright, so you go in that pipe. There's the end right there. I made it! I finally beat this fucking stage. Damn, hour 13. You know, I've been doing six hour streams for so long that uh, when I play an hour and a half, I feel like I'm ripping everybody off and myself too. Hmm. I'm not quite done exploring Super Mario Ultimate yet though. Like I'm having fun doing this. Okay, so there's a little... Okay, I used the boat to get over... Okay, I get it. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Dual heat sinks. Have a desk fan next to it. Yeah, you'll be good, Wiz. Not even close to having a problem. Uh, I will mention, too, though, that some Raspberry Pis, some, uh, can be overclocked. Um, it just depends on the particular Pi that you have, and there's no way of telling. Uh, certain production runs of the Raspberry Pi 3 board are capable of being overclocked and some aren't. Uh, mine is a good example of one that cannot be overclocked. I've tried. But uh, that's the only thing you can do. It's not like you can call up fucking Raspberry Pi or, you know, themselves and be like, Hey guys, can I get a hold of a board I can overclock? Uh, they don't know. I mean, they're budget boards too, so you can't really ask for much. Oh yeah, Glenn, for Easily. Uh, I've seen some people load up their uh, SNES minis with over 500 titles. Uh, there's actually something on Reddit, too. There's a really good resource on there uh, for anyone who's interested in hacking uh, their SNES mini. Uh, they even have a link to get the original kernel should you want to eliminate that hack, in the, you know, like after time. Oh, god damn it. Whoa! 
If I ever find the link for that, I'll definitely share it out. I need to look later on tonight. I'm going to be doing some internet work. So if I do, I'll throw it up in my uh, Twitch channel feed. And then I'll also put it on my Twitter too for the folks who follow me there. I haven't gotten a hold of my own SNES Mini yet, but to be completely 2000% honest, I'm actually holding out for the NES Classic because that's the one that holds water with me hardcore. The captain's already got an SNES Mini. I've got about every SNES game I could ever possibly want on this pie. If it plays homebrew, perhaps. I think it would. I mean, as long as the uh, the header information's correct and things like that, I don't think you'll have any issues. From a technical standpoint, I'd be very surprised if you actually had any issues trying to play any homebrew. God, these ghosts haul ass. You see how fast some fuckers go? Good lord. Maybe the frog suit will help out in here. Got a couple homebrews work on an AS Mini. Nice! And it's essentially the same board, too, right? I mean, ugh. I don't think there's much difference between the NES Mini and the SNES Mini. From a technical standpoint. Oh my god, my god, son of a bitch! No mushroom either. Great. Oh! You gotta, like, jump right off of that thing, and I didn't. So... For the folks who haven't played Super Mario 3 in a while, since this is a hack of it, uh, what would happen is that if you lost in a world, you would lose all of your progress and go right back to the beginning. One cool thing about this hack is that that doesn't happen. I, I keep my progress even if I lose all of my lives. Different HUD? Yeah. Which I kind of dig, but I really want them to put out the NES Classic again. I really want to get the NES Classic. If I were to get either one of those minis. And that even trumps, like, later minis down the road, too. Like, there's been some speculation that there's a Dreamcast mini that might be in the works. Uh, Sega's been working with Retrobit Gaming a little bit. So there might be some new shit coming out from them. But um, at this point, it's all speculation still. Um, other thing I heard is that if it ain't Dreamcast, it's going to be Saturn. But to be honest, like... 2000% honest, the uh, Saturn is such an obscure console, I couldn't see anybody really wanting to make a mini version of that one. It seemed like they'd be wasting their time. Oh man, no! You can even play any Sidious mini can play. I mean, they should. I mean,. I'm sure there's a way that you can get the custom kernel installed and then be able to play pretty much whatever the hell you want as long as it's within the technical limitations of it. It's basically just a glorified emulator in a box. There's really not much difference between the SNES Mini and the Raspberry Pi. It's just that the, the HUD is a hell of a lot more attractive and um, Nintendo was able to take the emulator's buried features and make them easy to understand. You know, like the, the screens or the, the save states... Uh, where you can go back later. You can have three slots for save states, which is normal for an emulator. Uh, you can fast forward, rewind, all that shit. That's all already in these emulators, but they're not exactly user friendly. Uh, I can go into RetroArch right now um, and I can add the, and I can do that stuff, but I'd have to assign it to buttons. And there's only so many fucking buttons on this controller. And it's important to. Uh, I don't know, to underline Turbo Graphics, not Turbo Graphics fucking CD or Super CD or any of that bullshit. Literally Turbo Graphics. It's a bit uh, machine. I really wish that they would have, uh, it would have had a bigger impact here in the States, because Turbo Graphics 16 actually had some really cool games. Retro Arch on it. Yeah, that's true. You could do that too, Wiz plethora of options out there and that reddit post actually talked about the different options available as well as access to that original kernel so it's good information to have i haven't test driven any of it myself but i did actually pop into the comments and see what people were saying about those particular resources and everything points to being legit whip 
I haven't quite figured out where I need to go here. See, I go in this door. Yeah, Rondo of Blood. That'd be awesome, but totally ain't gonna happen on a fucking SNES Mini. I want to check out over here. I think I gotta get hit by that guy. Fuck! He was like on my ass! That's the door I gotta go into, I'm certain. Why is this gotta be so goddamn hard? Christ almighty. Oh! I don't know if it's worth it at this point, but I'm going to get it anyway. Mushroom power! Kachi, it will save your original kernel. You're going to flash back to it. Plus it all tiles games and lets you download it. Whoa! That is good, Wiz. So, you, know, you said Hotchkey. Or Hachi. Or Hachi. Hachi. Sounds like a cereal. You know, that whole Kashi thing? <laughs> you know, like people want to get more fiber in their diet. Uh. Alright, we're going to grab this. I'm going to fucking run! Ah, uh, probably for the best. Because I need to get small over here. Leave me alone. You too. I gotta haul ass over there as soon as I hit this P. Get out of the fucking water, Mario! God, you suck! Alright, if I go through this bank of lives and I can't beat this castle, I'm gonna have to call that a stream and... I have a feeling that Adam uh, is going to be uh, still streaming Celeste over there and put 3 TV. If that happens, but we'll see what happens. We'll just fucking play it by ear. Because I want to see more of this. Like, it would be uh, pretty sweet if I could actually uh, save the game and then access it later, but I don't think there's save slots in this one. Just like the original Mario 3. <laughs> don't get off me. Small retro R chat retro command line making Ha ha! Wiz hitting with the knowledge. That actually helped me out too if ever I decide to get a hold of one. Uh, to be honest though, if I did get an NES Mini, I'd probably keep it pure. And then I would uh, turn my Raspberry Pi into my dedicated system uh, where I would have the NES Pi case that you've seen out there on Amazon. Uh, comes with a fully functional two USBs in the front for controllers, uh, functioning power and reset buttons. It's even got a fan uh, that goes over the CPU because the whole pie fits right inside the case. I've shared that link out a couple of times through the Lumps Media Twitter, and uh, that is a pretty sweet gig. You know, for anyone getting a pie and they want to get like that NES look to it, the actual functional look and not just the aesthetics then that case is, uh, I've seen a couple. Uh, the last one I shared out through that Twitter was uh, the one that had the fan included, which is what I would recommend if you're putting your pie in a fully enclosed case with, like, no ventilation. But I love my pie, man. It takes so much fucking stress off my PC. And some days my PC gets pissed at me, man. And fucking uh, some brutality 2015, I decided to stream Vulgar the Viking. And 75% of the problem was dust built up inside of my case. Uh, but the other problem, too, is that I was streaming a fucking graphically intense game on my PC while at the same time using it for streaming in junk. So, like, the fucking GPU and CPU was screaming at me. Stop! Put me out of my misery! Keep in stock of the... Okay, I'm keeping stock with uh, NES Mini. I understand that. 
Wouldn't it be the shit, though, to play Sweet Home or one of those on your fucking NES Mini, though? Like... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Sweet Home is definitely a game I'm going to be streaming down the road because I'm so happy that I beat that game. There's a few more parts that I need to memorize, uh, but someday down the road I'm hoping to be good enough to where I can actually start speedrunning the thing, which would be the shit. Oh, no! So you got to get up there while you're small, and you still got to have time to get through it when it's a coin in order to get through the door. Well, fuck. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Trying the Chinese bootleg. Thought about trying the Chinese bootleg. This version of Resident Evil. Fine on NES Mini. Ha! <laughs> Good to know, guys. Well, I'm going to jump on my phone real quick. We'll see if Adam is still playing Celeste. Hold up. If not, I'm probably going to send you guys over there. I actually have... I needed to put a link uh, below on Twitch, but Lumps Media actually has an official Discord, and for anyone who has Discord, um, that is out there for anyone to join as long as you have the link. It's over um, at Lumps Media. Uh, just go to Twitter. Uh, you'll see a link to it right in the description, and that will link you up to the official Discord. I pop in there at least once a day, talk about shit. But I actually have the live stream connected, the chat that you're seeing, uh, connected through YouTube, and I also have it connected to Discord. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Adam is still streaming input um, over on Input3 TV. I'm going to send you guys over there. Um, I'll even pop in for a bit, but I'm going to grab myself something to drink. But thank you all very much for checking out Super Mario Ultimate with me. I can't wait to check out more of this. Uh, check out romhacking.net. Get your hands on one if you like. I'll see you guys over on Input3. Lumps the Clown out.